This is the uh, second of three videos on doors. So the first one we did was flush doors, and this one is what they call a ledged, braced, and framed door. And the uh, ledged, braced, and framed sort of um, refer to the three stages uh, and the three different ways you can construct this door. So quite simply, this door just consists of a number of boards, however many boards you need to get the width of the door that you want um, and you know, they could be butt jointed together but generally for a better quality door they're tongue and groove together to stop any uh, air passing through the actual door and the simplest form of this door, the ledge door just has what we call ledges these pieces of timber here holding the boards together. So a pretty simple door. You wouldn't probably you know use it on your standard residential house. It's more something you'd see on outbuildings or you know something you could build for kids' cover houses. Um, and it's not usually one that you would have to you would use for a residential house. So the biggest problem with the ledges is that over time with the hinges in position and you have to use the T hinges for this type of door because there's really no edge to screw to. Um, what happens is that the door drops because there's no brace in here the uh, the free end of the door which I guess is actually this side it tends to drop with gravity and use and you know, it gets a bit loose um, it'll drop so the next evolution was to put in obviously braces so this is where we've got the ledged and now we've got the braced door so there's two ways we can put the braces in you could just butt joint them in cut the angle required and sit them there and that will provide a little bit of uh, extra bracing to the door or the more traditional method would be actually check them in so what they generally do is they divide the width of the timber up into five, come in one fifth at the you know with a 90 degree corner, then cut an angle back to where it meets the edge of the ledger. That gives you a little bit of a uh, check in somewhere for the you know, the um, the brace to lock into the ledger. So that stops with the door sagging. So that's a ledged, ledged and braced door. So obviously with that we still need the T hinges um, because we still don't have an edge really to take um, it into a normal door jam. So then there's the T hinges there. So the next evolution was to put a frame around the door. So now we have a framed, ledged, sorry, ledged and braced door. So this means that our door is now uh, a normal 35 to 40 mil thick. Um, still has our boards in the middle, and the boards are actually rebated into the frame. The frame's rebated around the boards, and the boards are just used more as an infill for our frame. So that's a ledged, um, braced and framed door as I said um, not something you generally use for a residential house but for outbuildings cubby houses things like that could be something that you have to build one day